Hey everyone, in today's video I want to share with you 5 reasons why I love using the 35mm lens for travel photography. So I have the Canon 35mm 1.4 L series lens and for everyone asking me recently it is the Mark 1 version of the lens. I do want to get my hands on the Mark 2 version which I'm going to do really soon and I can't wait to make so many videos with it when I do. But for now I just have the Mark 1 35mm lens. So Dan and I were in Tasmania last week for about a week and we were there to capture photo and video for a wedding and we decided to take a few extra days to be able to explore Tasmania. Even though I had my entire photography kit with me, I decided to bring my Canon 5D Mark III camera body with my Canon 35mm 1.4 lens every single time we went out to a national park or to go and take photos or to go on a hike as there's a bunch of reasons why I love using it. So the first reason is the most simple and that is because the 35mm lens is a wide angle lens. Usually when you're traveling you're capturing photos of the landscape or of the cityscape and that means you're capturing photos of a mountain or a lake or a tall building or like a large row of buildings or something like that. So a wide angle lens comes in really handy to be able to capture that in full. If I had a 50 millimeter lens or an 85 millimeter lens, I would either have to take a bunch of photos of the landscape to be able to stitch them up together later in Photoshop, which is a lot of work, or I would just have to take a photo and be happy with the fact that half of the landscape is cropped out in it. So that's why I love the 35mm, it's able to capture the entire scene in a photo. We are now at Freysonet National Park and we are at Richardson's Bay and I wanted to take some photos here because it's beautiful. So if you've watched any of my fashion photography behind the scene photo shoot videos, you would know that the 35mm is super flattering for portraits. I love shooting portraits with this lens. So when I'm traveling, I also like to bring the 35mm along because it's not only good for landscape photography, but it's also great for portraits. So with the 35mm, because it's a wider lens, it includes a lot more of the background and the environment that you're in. And yes, if you were using, say, a 50mm lens, you could bring up your aperture to include some of that background in as well. But the 35mm has a way different compression to the 50mm, so it looks completely different in a photo. And I personally love the way that 35mm distorts a little bit and it includes so much of the background, which is going back to the first point that I mentioned in this video. So, Dan and I are going to take some portraits right here at this beach and I'll show you what these photos look like. So I'm going to take some photos of you first, Dan. <laughs> So another great thing in particular about the Canon 35mm 1.4 lens is that it is one of the lightest L-series lenses in Canon's range. So I really love bringing the 35 with me. The 50mm is a little bit heavy, the 85mm is way too chunky and heavy, so the 35 gives me that great quality of an L-series Canon lens and it's also super easy to carry around. 
I like normally hike with this in my hand or in my backpack and I walk around with it and it doesn't bother me at all. If we're looking at the lenses that I have, the Canon 24-70 2.8 Mark 1 lens is about a kilo whereas the 35mm 1.4 Mark 1 is about 600 grams. So when I'm traveling, it means that I'm doing lots of hiking, lots of walking around, lots of carrying my camera around as well. So I wanna make sure that I have the lightest lens possible that's able to do the job for me rather than having something that's a bit heavier and maybe not feeling like taking it somewhere because it's too heavy. So that's one other reason that's personally important for me when I am doing travel photography. So we just climbed up from over this bridge down to the water and I'm just taking photos of the river here and I don't know the 35 mil is definitely way lighter than something compared to the 24 to 70. Another great thing about the 35mm is that it is the fastest lens in my kit in terms of focusing. So when you're traveling, usually things happen only once and they can happen in just an instant right in front of you and if you've got a slow lens, you have the chance of missing that shot or getting that shot but it's completely out of focus. So I really really love having my 35mm lens for those moments so that I don't miss anything. So right now we notice that this little wallaby <laughs> is here eating grass at the car park. So I want to make sure that I'm able to get the shot that I want with my fast lens rather than seeing this wallaby going up to it. I'm about to take a photo but my 85mm can't find focus before it hops away. So I really like being able to have a fast lens while I'm traveling. Also really good to take photos of things out of a car window while you're driving around. It's like super fast to focus and it always almost it almost always ends up being a sharp shot on the 35. Last but not least, I love the Canon 35mm 1.4 because it is amazing in low light conditions. So when you're traveling, it's not like a typical fashion or portrait session where you decide how long the session goes for and what time you're going to be shooting so the lighting conditions are ideal for what you're working on. With travel photography, if you're like me and you like to get up for sunrise or stay up for sunset, you'll often find yourself at a location during dusk and I love taking photos during this blue hour because the photos just look so moody and they're really nice. And a 1.4 lens is perfect to be able to achieve this without getting images that are too grainy from using a high ISO. And I don't do this as often, but I do also love taking photos of the stars at night as well. And the 35mm is really great for that as the wider lens gives you a little bit more perspective on the sky and you're able to get really sharp images again without them being too grainy from using a high ISO. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my five reasons why I love the 35mm lens for travel photography. I literally take this lens with me every single time that I'm traveling somewhere and it's with me for pretty much the entire day as I find that it's able to capture the shots that I want to be able to tell a story and to be able to get you know, a beautiful scene or a really nice portrait with the landscape behind someone. If you have any questions, please let me know as I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. I also just released our travel vlog from Tasmania last week. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave that in the description below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.